Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs. For this review, we are taking a look back at another SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z figure. This is Super Saiyan 3 Goku. That's what he looks like. Let's look at the actual figure though, because that's what he looks like. Now, I am torn about this figure because I really like it, and I also really don't like it at the same time. And there are two key things for making me not like it. One, this awesomely sculpted hair is solid plastic. I mean, aside from the articulation, it's solid plastic. So it is really, really heavy. Like, really heavy. I could balance him like that. So it's as heavy as almost all of his body. So standing him upright is impossible without a stand. They do give you a stand. He does come with a standard Bandai stand. So that's nice. But he's still really freaking heavy, like really heavy from the head. So that's a problem. The other problem is the color of his gi. It really didn't turn out right. I know he's supposed to be kind of like glowy, you know, supposed to look a little bit different. And the way they do the shading in the animation makes it look kind of dark in, in some cases. This just looks muddy. It just looks like a really bad paint job. And then they put this kind of orange hue to his skin, which might be okay in the animation. It didn't translate well to the figure. You end up with a figure whose skin is orange, his outfit is ugly orange, and his hair is kind of orange. The hair is okay, though, but it's all kind of like one color, and it just... Uh, I don't know, it doesn't look as good as it should. It looks fine once you get it posed and put on a shelf and put it with the other figures, but it's really not as good as it should have been or could have been. So maybe a repaint of this guy, ooh, maybe that's going to be the SDCC exclusive. I'll be excited if that's the case. Maybe they're going to repaint this guy to be a better look. We'll see. Okay, let's look at the accessories really quickly. We only have two faces here. We have the stoic nothing face, which I do think is sculpted really well. I like the way it looks. And then we have the angry face with almost crazy eyes. I know he's just looking off to the side and that's the way they're drawn, but he does look a bit crazy. It's nicely sculpted, nicely painted, but I don't know. I think the eyes straight ahead would be better. That's just me. He has two fists, same exact spread of hands as regular Super Saiyan Goku. So two fists, two completely open hands, all of the shading is carried out through all of the accessories, so that's nice. And we have the two semi-open hands, and we have the instant transmission, or point your two fingers at somebody hands. So that's good. But we're not done there. We have more. We have the halo, which if you watch the animation, you know, or I guess it's in the manga as well. You have the halo, there's a little hole in his hair right there. You can't really notice it unless you're looking for it though, so that's good. But if you want to put the halo in, that just pegs in. And then he has the halo, which is a really nice piece. I like that they did that. I wish this piece, the upright piece, was more clear and less yellow, but it still looks pretty good, and I do like that they included it. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, and then we have, like I told you, he comes with a stand, and with the stand, we get this little clip. And this little clip snaps onto the upright part. This holds the figure once you turn it. This snaps on here, and what this piece does is it holds these four pieces, which turn into, you know, the energy spinning around the figure. It's a huge pain in the butt to put these together and take them apart, and I feel like I'm going to break them every time. So I'm just going to overlay a picture on the screen so you can see what that's like. They are made nicely. They're shaded well. They're nice and translucent where they're supposed to be. They're sculpted well. And once you put them together, it looks pretty good. But like I said, they're super fragile, so I'm not going to do that until I get them out for display again. So you can just look at the picture. But that's nice to see that he's, he has those. So he does have a little bit better accessories than the regular Goku, just because he has that and the stand and the halo. Alright, let's talk about the figure. We already talked about paint. He stands about 7 inches tall to the top of his hair, probably a little shy. Let's see. Yeah, more like six and three quarters, six inches to the top of his head. Like I said, the sculpting on the hair, I think it's perfect. It looks great. The sculpting on the face looks great. The body, it's exactly the same as the other Goku. So it looks good. Could be a little bit better, but it still looks good. They did stiffen the neck up a little bit in this guy, so the head itself can hold the hair just fine. No problems like that, but it's just really heavy. The hair is articulated. We have a ball peg up front. Is there one there too? I think there's one there too. Yeah, ball peg. So we have one ball peg there, one ball peg there, 
and then one last ball peg here with the most range of motion. So depending on how you have him posed, how you have him moving, you can move the hair around. And they do spin a bit too, and they're really nicely shaded, so that's pretty cool. The head articulation, just like the other Goku, I'll go through it anyway without breaking the figure hopefully. Okay, I'm not going to pull it off. Uh, it's a ball hinge, so there's a ball hinge, it, it pegs into the neck so it can swivel in the neck, it's a ball peg in the head and then it hinges as well. So you can spin that around to get the head to move however you need it to. And uh, well, of course I can't do it right now, but either way if you wiggle it enough you can get the hinge to actually go sideways so you can cock the head to the side a little bit better. His neck works a lot better than almost all of the other figures. Uh, it's a shame that you can't use it too much just because it's hard to pose him with the hair anyway but as you can see the neck moves a lot more than most of the other figures so it's really effective I do like that about this guy so like I said I'm kinda torn about this guy They're, they do a lot of good things with this guy a lot of improvements but there's still a lot of issues alright you can figure out that, that's gonna take some work to get it where you want it but you can do that the shoulders just like the other Goku Ball peg goes into the torso, full range of motion like that, and that cup just kind of hides the joint. And you can see the hinge in the shoulder itself, so full range of motion. The shirt is a ball peg in the bicep, so you can move that around to hide the joint. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, really nice range of motion on that. The wrist is the same as the neck, so I can show you there. We have a ball peg where it connects to the hand, it swivels around in the forearm, and is hinged. So really good range of motion for that. The torso, it does pop up and down so you can get the better range of motion. Really good range of motion on this guy all the way around. The belt hides it nicely. Or you can just pop it down and keep him a little bit stiffer. But he still, he still gets a pretty good range of motion, even with it all the way down. So I do like that. They did improve a lot just in how they put the figure together, even though it's the exact same mold. Uh, you know, they, they can adjust things where the pegs connect and that sort of stuff. The hips, uh, hinged ball pegs, so they do drop down to give you a better range of motion. Really good range of motion for that. Standard ball peg in the hip socket. The thigh can swivel around that. Double jointed knees, again, he really should have had a kneecap, but you still get good range of motion, and it looks okay for most angles, so I'm alright with that. Ankles, pretty good range of motion, just a little double ball peg in there, definitely could have had better range of motion for the ankles. But, put them in the air and it doesn't really matter. And then we have the toe pivot. So, again, it's a lot like the other Goku, they improved a lot, but the paints and the weight of the hair really hurt this figure so I would love absolutely love wish I could fix that get that line back up again I would absolutely love a repaint of this guy for Comic Con so cross your fingers for me guys alright there it is thanks for watching stay tuned for more figure reviews custom figures and other good stuff and in the meantime keep collecting